Look at this chart. It's not only ugly, but it's also not very easy to read. There's so much clutter in it. It's very busy. All the line chart looks entangled. You don't know which product belongs to which line. And it's also hard to compare them. Looking at the table, it's okay in itself, but if you want to retrieve information quickly, it's not easy with the table. It's very detailed and maybe we just want to have some main informations instead of reading through all the columns and rows. There are different ways to make it better, depending on our goals. In this video, I'm going to show you one solution to do that. Let's say in the line chart, we are more interested in the sales trend of the products and not that much how they are comparing to each other. And for the table, we can say, okay, we want to see which product generate the most sales and how does it compare to the others. I put the link in the video description where you can download the file and do it yourself. Let's get started. So this is a one year sales data from January to December. And first we will remove the clutter. We will remove everything which takes attention away from the data, all the lines and the unnecessary colors. We are going to start with the background, going to style, make it white, border also white. Looking at it, the black color is very dominating. So I'm gonna push everything what is black into the background, so making it gray, starting with the cards, call out value, we will make it dark gray, as well as the category labels, and the borders are going to be light gray, visual borders going like this, so going to the line chart, we don't need the axis titles, we know it's sales data and we know it's these are the month. We will remove the title and we will also change the color into gray to push it back into the background a bit. Going to the Y axis and doing the same. No title. Changing the color. We also want to change the X axis because the text is diagonal. Either we can make it smaller where we have a shorter version of it. Month name short, let's put it there. Next, going back to formatting, we can remove the grid lines. We don't really need them, the Y axis is enough. And then we can also make the lines a bit thinner, two pixels width. And then let's go to general and change no background and no visual borders. And we can also change the title. It's gonna be product sales trend. Let's make it segue because that's our text everywhere else and put it also into the background. Doing like this, we can go semi bold actually. All right, let's go to the table, go to visual style presets, set it to none. It removes the row colors. We can go to grid. We don't need any grid, no horizontal grid. None of them is marked, but you can see there is a border below the columns and above the totals. You can just select one and cancel it again. Let's make everything a bit lighter. Let's go to values, make everything gray. Column headers as well. It's already gray, but let's put some less emphasis on it. So make it semi bold instead of bold. Then going to totals. Let's make it, keep it bold and make it gray. All right, we can also align the column headers according to the values. Let's go to specific column. The product is okay. We can go to gross sales, mark all of these applications and align them to the right. Do the same with sales. Then we can go to general and remove background and remove visual border. It already looks better. It's cleaner, but it's still hard to read the data. So next we are going to take care of the line chart. I'm going to turn this off for now, the table, and we will turn the line chart into a vertical small multiples. So we will see the lines below of each other and see their trends. And you can also compare them, how they evolve. Let's drag the product from the legend to small multiples. And we will change the rows to six because we have six products and the columns to one. Adjust the size. Let's try to make the x-axis horizontal. We can make it smaller. If it doesn't have, we can make, instead of segue, we can choose thin. And it's very tiny, but it's still visible. The y-axis doesn't tell us much because it's very small. Like you cannot really 
see this is like 2 million or 3 million. We can just pick the most important values for us, maybe a minimum and maximum or first and last date. In this case, I'm going to do, I'm going to mark the first and the last date and we need some measures for it. The first one is going to be sales minimum date. I already wrote the measure. I'm just going to copy it here. Sales minimum date. So if the minimum month is equal to the minimum month, ignoring this X axis, but respecting the outside filters like slicers and this filter, then it's going to calculate sales M, which is the total sales, sum of sales, and otherwise it's going to return blank. That's the default. When there is no alternative value, then that's the default value. If I pull it here, this is how it looks. It only marks the first date. That's great. I'm going to do the same for the max date. Just copying it, changing min to max. Let's make it small, pulling it inside as well. Let's change the colors. We can either go to lines and change it here or we can also change it at the markers and we will put data labels on them but not on all of the values only on the sales min date and max date so at the sales we are going to turn this off we can also add some background because sometimes the numbers are not very visible you can open background go to sales min date i would add white and make it 50 percent transparent and doing the same with sales max date. All right, it's more visible now and we can make the markers also a bit smaller. They are very clumsy and turn it off for the sales, no markers for it. We don't need the Y axis anymore and we also don't need the legend. Now we can make it a little bit smaller again. You don't have to, depending on the space. I want to put some other visuals here so I go as small as possible, as narrow as possible. All right, this looks nice. We have now the products separately and you can tell how they develop. It's not very easy to compare them. Like you don't know which product had the highest value in March, for example. It's more about the trend this time. We want to emphasize the trend here, how the sales numbers develop during the year. Okay, we can turn on the table again. As said, the table in itself is okay, especially if you have like detailed data and we want to compare different measures, then it's totally fine. But we just want to have a quicker overview and seeing also how, for example, the gross sales compares to sales or the profit. We can do this very well with the bar chart. Let's make it larger but narrower we can first clutter it going to the y-axis no title and we also don't need the whole y-axis we have already the names of the products here we don't need the x-axis either no title we will keep the legend we can go to the bars keep the colors for now we will change them later and make the inner padding a bit bigger so the bars are a little bit thinner we can turn on the data labels and we can turn off the title. We don't need that. We have now gross sales, sales, profit and units sold. Units sold doesn't really belong here because it's a different unit. It's comparing pieces with sales volume. So we can just put it into another chart. I'm going to copy this first. Going back to the first one and removing units sold. And in the new one, we remove the other measures. We are getting closer, but there are still some things to do. First of all, we want to sort them the same way. So here, this is sorted by the units. Here, this is sorted by name, I think. And this is also sorted by product name. So let's sort everything by sales. Sales and descending. It's already descending. Sort this one as well by sales. Descending and this one as well it doesn't have sales so we can just pull it in we have here in basic the sales measure pull it in the tooltips and now we can sort it also by sales 
Another thing I would like to change is the width of these unit salt bars. And there is also, we don't know what these numbers are, so it would be nice to have the same legend what this bar chart has. To change the width of the bars, we could change it with the spacing, like going to 50, but I would like to have it aligned with the others, so if it had the same width, so it's not possible this way. What we can do is to create a new measure, a blank measure, like this. Let's pull this in. Okay, this looks better. We can put it in one more time, but it didn't change anything. So I'm just going to write another blank measure and, and pull this one in as well. So it solved both problems. Okay, let's go back to inner padding. Let's change it to 30, like the other one, and align it with the other bar chart. Change the size a little bit. We don't see all the legends here. Okay, that's better. Make it a bit smaller. And also the background fitting. There is this thing here, this carate, I think is the name. We can also just have a workaround that's just cover it with a shape, white shape simply. No borders. And just resize it and put it there. And we have some color issues here. The cells here has blue, here the grosses has blue, unit soil is also blue, so let's just make it a bit unified. We will change the colors here. The gross says it's a bit less important for us. We can change it to gray. Cells is our blue, and let's make the profit dark blue. You can change the unit soil as well to purple. We can also align the cards better and adjust the color and the size of them. Let's make all of them a bit larger. Properties with 150. Let's pull the last one to the edge of this bar chart, like this. And we can select all of them and format, align, distribute horizontally. Go in, group them, KPI, cards. We can also change their colors according to the colors here in the bar charts. We are almost done, but one thing I would do is make the corners a bit rounded, so it gives kind of a smoother feeling. And I would also put some shadows to it. It's mostly for design, but I think it makes it a bit more accessible. Let's select them all. We can go to General, Effects, Visual Border, and we can round it. Let's make it 20. And what I want to do is actually making the border white and creating kind of a glowing effect with the shadow. This shadow is a bit too strong, so I would reduce it and I would want to have it a bit around the cards. Let's select them all again. General effects, shadow, select custom shadow. Let's make it smaller, like one, blur five. The angle can stay the same, distance, let's say three. And transparency is going to be 85. So as you can see, it gives kind of a smooth edge around it, but we cannot really see the text. So we can just select them all again and change the callout value. Let's say 25. Let's go to the background and do the same thing, shape, Let's change the corners to 25 pixels around. Let's go to style, shadow, and this shadow is fine for us. We are almost done. There is one more thing I want to do is to extend these lines, which we are going to do with shapes. Like this, we can kind of move it here and let's extend it at the, until the end of the bar charts. Let's style it. Feel doesn't matter for us, but the color is going to be gray. I'm gonna copy this. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, pulling it down, placing it correctly. Copy it two more times. Here we don't have to be very accurate, just kind of putting it down and go and align to the left side. It aligns them to the furthest part on the left. 
like this and we can distribute them vertically okay it covers them all as you can see it's not perfect but it's almost fine and we can put them into the background let's put it here and i'm going to change the borders here also we can either remove them but it changes the proportions a little bit so i'm just gonna keep them and have the same color which was this light light gray i mean It definitely looks better and you can see the trends of all the products at the same time but maybe you want to see one product with the context of the other products and filtering it then you can check this video where I show another solution for the same problem.